April 15th, St. Paternus, Bishop. He was born at Poitiers about the year 482. His father, Patranus, with the consent of his wife, went into Ireland, where he ended his days in holy solitude. Paternus, fired by his example, embraced young a monastic life in the abbey of Anison, called in succeeding ages Marne. After some time, burning with a desire of attaining to the perfection of Christian virtue, he passed over to Wales, where he founded a monastery called Lan Patern Va, or the Church of the Great Paternus. He made a visit to his father in Ireland, but being called back to his monastery, he soon retired with St. Scubilian, a monk of that house, and embraced an austere anchorical life in a forest near the diocese of Coutas, France, which was near the sea. He first obtained leave from the bishop of that area and of the lord of the place. This desert, which was then of a great extent, but has since been gradually gained upon by the sea, was anciently in great request among the Druids. St. Paternus converted to the faith the idolaters of that and many neighboring parts, and he prevailed with them to demolish a pagan temple in this desert, which was held in great veneration by the ancient Gauls. St. Senator, St. God, and St. Araustus, holy priests, were his fellow hermits in this wilderness, and his fellow laborers in these missions. St. Patronus, in his old age, was consecrated bishop of Avranche by Germanus, bishop of Rouen. Later, some false brethren, having created a division of opinion among the bishops of the providence with respect to St. Patronus, he preferred retiring rather than to afford any ground for dissension and after governing his diocese for thirteen years he withdrew to a solitude in france and there ended his days about the year five fifty the greatest sacrifices imposed by the love of peace will appear as not if we call to mind the example of our saviour and remember his words blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of god